Welcome to another edition of SledShop.com. We're here at Specialty Sleds with Ken, getting a little insight into his new mod, ski 1200, and uh, it's got the turbo system in it, and we're gonna get some information for you. This is the, the new Skidoo 1200 XR. Comes in either 121 or 136, or 137, I should say, as a MXZ or a Renegade. We got the sled 12 days ago. Uh, we actually uh, took an original tunnel from an XB. We actually bought a bulkhead and tunnel, split it, took everything apart, polished it, anodized it, got everything ready. We were actually, uh, that was done a month ago. And like I say, we got the sled 12 days ago. We stripped every rivet that was in this sled out of it because everything has to come apart to put the long track in it. Right. Uh, we got the, uh, the turbo, I think probably four days before we got the sled. Uh, as soon as we got the sled, we tore everything apart, pulled the motor out because the motor has to come out to put the head shim in it. MC Express did a very nice job on building the kit, uh, being that this was a production sled with a pre-production turbo. We didn't know if there was going to be things different. Okay. Uh, it all looks really good. It sounds like MC Express will have their uh, their first production sled in two weeks. Then I think six to eight weeks after that, they'll have turbos that they're going to deliver to people. Well, uh, when we got the sled, it weighed 540 pounds. We took the muffler off of it and the seat, put a boss seat on, saved 31 pounds. We didn't use reverse in this one uh, because I want to use 15 wide gears. That took off six pounds. Uh, when we weighed it, uh, we were expecting 530, 540. That's what we expected it was going to be. You know, with the 162, two and a half paddle track, long track, everything. When we put it on the scales, uh, we were quite shocked. It was under 400 pounds with no coolant. Right. And uh, we speculate that with coolant in it, uh, at the amount that it's going to take, no fuel, uh, it'll be at 512 pounds. Wow, 512 pounds. And, uh, there is things that we can actually put on it that are going to be lighter, but at this point, we're just going to kind of leave things the way they are. Uh, we know there's a few things we can put a lighter uh, muffler on it that's probably going to save five or six pounds, but I mean, Eric at uh, MC Express said that uh, on pump gats, which is 97 octane in Sweden, mm -hmm. at 14 pounds of boost, they can make uh, 270 horsepower. Well, and they didn't tell us any numbers after that because it's race fuel and they say change pistons, whatever. But mm -hmm. most of us are accustomed to using race fuel. Yeah. The people that want to go higher will probably be able to. Right. But uh, I think this sled at the weight of it at 220 or 240 or 270 horsepower are going to have a... A hell of a good time. Well, a good time, <laughs> yeah. They'll have a, a thrill that uh, they'll understand. So I noticed you guys change out the skid as well. It's got a skid. Uh, it's made by uh, Holtz. It's the Alpha X. It's got the uh, Ice Age rails in it. Uh, they're anodized blue, we've got our wheels on it. All the anodizing, like I say, everything that was done, it's uh, done in an orange color at uh, Anderson Anodizing. Uh, it does not add any weight to the sled whatsoever. It's a tough, tough finish. And uh, looks great. Yeah, and uh, other than that, uh, there's some things that we're gonna be working with, uh, air intakes and uh, screen kits for them, but it's a work in progress right now. And uh, we'll have this sled on the snow probably in a couple weeks uh, we're so busy at the shop right now we probably won't have it out till after christmas but at least we have it done for the calgary show so people can see it yeah absolutely and uh, get a kind of a, a feel for what's going on and, uh, there was a lot of great reception to the fact that the sled looks good the kit works and fits really nice and the sled is light lighter than we hope uh, i'm blown away seeing it on the scale lighter than we hope so so that's about it in a nutshell and uh, we'll see what happens. So there we go, some info on the new ski 1200 with the turbo. Um, just a big thank you to Ken for taking the time out to tell us a little bit about the machine. And, uh, thanks for tuning in to another edition of SledShot.com. Hey.